hello traders at samurai trader here welcome to this session right now we're seeing some incredible hello traders it's samurai trader here welcome to this video day trading for beginners at the moment we're experiencing the scourge of corona the coronavirus around the world and my business as an educator as a day trader uh, has gone through the roof I've got hundreds of people a week contacting me or either purchasing my programs or contacting me about learning how to day trade stocks futures or Forex but unfortunately right now a lot of people have also been sold that it's a walk in the park that it's easy that there's no work required anyone can pick this up and I just want to set the record straight and go through the very basics for you to really get your career underway whether or not you join me as a trader uh, or you go along your own journey but what's very very important is that you understand and get really the right information from day one so as I mentioned traders I'm samurai traders so welcome here to my studio here where I do my online training courses and what I'm saying to traders is you don't have to do this so I've been doing this now for over 26 years this is all trading and let me just turn this camera off for a moment and just quickly go to some this is the journey that most traders take I'm in my boardroom here I'll go out and I'll buy virtually every course in the world okay I'll spend a small fortune on the way buy a ton of books and invest in CDs etc and only to be disappointed and what I really want to do in this short video is to really give you the facts what's really involved no you don't have to spend thousands of dollars yes you can do this provided you're willing to lay the foundation or, or really do it the right way from day one so what I'm going to do is go through the key points of what you really need you can do this um, fortunately and fortunately for me and many others trading's not rocket science but it's still about understanding it's a what trading really is day trading is really a pattern solving exercise so let me just pull this up I do need to pull up the disclaimer there is a risk in trading uh, make sure you're not trading with the rent money and of course many people want to learn how to trade so they can earn the rent money so yes I will show you how to do this not all of it in this first video uh, I've got uh, on video on sorry on YouTube traders I've got done now over 400 videos so there's a ton of stuff there but most importantly there is a risk in trading please feel free to pause the recording um, but go to my website or click on the download link and you can download one of my free training manuals and in that manual I'll talk about brokers and charts and candlesticks and a whole lot of terminology there and that won't cost you a red razu and even more importantly please make sure you subscribe to my channel uh, I've got over 20,000 um, uh, members on my channel or subscribers I really should say and to be kept up to date with all of my latest videos and even more importantly if you are serious about learning and mastering out of day trading and scalping for over for only $197 you receive over 200 hours of online video instruction look there's a ton of stuff here I don't want to make this into a great big advertisement this is really about let's move on because this is really about what's really involved and how do you get underway now unfortunately this is the approach that many people take when it comes to learning how to day trade it's not rocket science and in fact traders we need to keep it as simple as possible because otherwise you suffer from what we call confused knowledge over 70 percent of the traders that join me are already experienced so found trading difficult and of course the other 30 percent obviously are brand new traders and so they get really pulled from pillar to post really on what to do what's the right trading platform what do I do for this what's the right market etc so let me get you on the right track all right so first of all these are the key considerations this is a business traders if you're a brand new trader or trading has not been kind to you up till now you need to watch this video very very important unfortunately 
this is not a business about quick riches but it is a business that you can gain incredible financial security provided you're willing to look at this as a 90 to 180 day internship that's right unless you're already very experienced uh, for an example I've got a setup called a 34b and 2b an experienced trader can be running with that within two or three days but a brand new trader there's a lot of other things that you need to take in account and be fair to yourself and give yourself that 90 to 180 days okay it's not it's not rocket science but you need to really lay the foundation you need to gain what we call screen time so first of all is a time frame now the next thing is acquiring the knowledge on actually how to day trade now there's a whole there's just so many little things to master in the art of day trading but the great thing is and look forget my programs only $197 for a moment but there's no need to spend thousands of dollars there's so much great free stuff on YouTube uh, and out there on Google that really you can get virtually everything you need for peanuts you really can there's no need to spend thousands of dollars save it for your trading account but you do need to get the knowledge so be prepared to invest in uh, if you don't want to say um, get involved in my program invest in a few really good books go and watch spend two or three hours a day watching YouTube videos because it, it ain't rocket science it's really not so make sure you lay the foundation the next thing is it's important that you set a trading goal now if you're trading futures or Forex per contract or standard lot that you trade uh, our members have a target of earning two to four hundred dollars a day per contract and I'm not going to go into how much money and how you um, can build your accounts and whatever it's not really the, the purpose of this video but the purpose is to really you've got to have a trading goal you've got to set a target and it's just something magical happens when you've got a target set and you aim for that so it may be 1,000 could be 10 20,000 a week but set a trading goal the next thing here to achieve your goal is your account size now if you're going to trade stocks we've got what we call the pattern rule where you need to have a $25,000 account even if you've got $25,000 traders I'd say don't start there because you want to start with a very small account and build from there but first of all start trading or learning how to trade on the simulator before you go to live trading now if you trade say Forex you can start off with as little as four or five hundred dollars and start trading micros or minis and building from there develop the confidence ultimately you want to get if you'll say want to trade Forex or if you want to trade futures and if you trade futures the ideal account size is perhaps around the five to six thousand seven thousand dollar mark but you can trade and one great thing now is you can now trade the micro e mini and you only need around a thousand dollars for that in fact as soon as I finish recording this video today I'm recording another video on how to day trade with a small account and so how to start with a small account and uh, you can get going with futures with around a thousand dollars okay to be exact because of the extra volatility in the market you need about thirteen hundred dollars but even before you go live you want to master your trading on the simulator and you build from there okay so for realistic amount traders is you need to have 500 to 2,000 to really get something happening as far as a broker's account underway the next thing is money management risk management I'm still seeing that so many educators out there will promote because they don't trade in their own right I'll, I'll promote to you to that it's okay to have a five percent risk rubbish it's suicide traders you must um, trade a market and have the account size where you're never risking any more than two percent as a maximum and as you build your account you lower that amount yes you'll have a smaller return or a lower return on your equity you know it's a lot safer it's a lot easier and as we say there are old traders there are bold traders but there are no old bold traders meaning if you don't follow the money management rules and the risk management rules on the maximum exposure right 
the market will get you someone else is going to empty your bank account your trading account so very very important never more than two percent the next thing is picking the right market or markets to trade and that's one thing nowadays I've got a real bias toward futures I used to trade Forex full-time now it's it's really 100% futures but for futures or Forex really you know there are benefits to both but the bottom line is you get to know the market and this is what I believe is a it's a benefit over stocks unless you specialize in Tesla or Amazon or whatever you want to get to know the personality of the market okay so it's very very important that you find out which are the best markets to trade and why and understand those markets so we want a market where it's got uh, some volatility so we want to see that we get those trends which are very very important we want to see a healthy trading volume we also want to see that it's really it fits within our budget to open up an account to trade that market for an example at the moment and I'm recording this uh, um, mid April 2020 and because of the volatility in the market the CME the exchange has got it that um, the maximum or the per contract value that you need to trade an ES contract is uh, thirteen and a half thousand dollars now I trade with TradeStation and TradeStation still have an intraday account where you can have that so just say seven thousand dollars okay you can still trade but but normally when the markets settle down and they will settle down you only need six to seven hundred dollars per contract you trade now there's still problems with that because then if you trade with that little amount of money you're breaking all the money management rules under the Sun however there are markets there where you can have a lot less in there such as trading the micros uh, you might trade the 10-year note etc and in this next video I'm going to cover that extensively but that is very important and you and they have their own personalities oil is very very different the black gold the Texas tea is very different than say trading the ES or trading stocks so you want to spend your time there the next thing is your broker and for many traders they are your make or break also a broker usually will encourage you to leverage yourself up and to trade as often as you can not all brokers but the majority why that is how they make their money do you know why they call them brokers because many of them they send you broke <laughs> seriously so you've got to really choose your broker correctly for an example if you go with a, a broker in the US or in the UK uh, they're all regulated uh, this and, and or even Australia with ASIC they're the strictest regulators uh, are in those countries now very very important that you choose the right broker and uh, that you make sure that they're regulated now if you trade Forex you've got to be extremely careful because many brokers are still Forex brokers are still market makers in other words they are on the other side of your trade seriously now what we saw three four five six going back 15 years ago we saw brokers running stops all the time now it still happens in some countries because they're not regulated like they are now with the US Australia and the UK however is your broker really thinking of you if they're a market maker be extremely cautious you want to have a broker that provides what we call straight through processing and that's the huge benefit of trading either stocks or the futures markets you're dealing through your broker directly with the exchange now in the UK we still have one or two brokers there that on say futures they charge a spread rather than a commission that is still a concern as well so you really want to do your homework traders on the commissions that your brokers charge and with your brokers that then leads into your charting trading platform and the data if you trade say Forex you can get the uh, virtually every Forex broker will give you or allow you to use the platform the trading platform execution platform called MT4 MT5 is also out but the majority of traders still use MT4 that's a free platform it's solid for the small trader no problems okay and it's free and the data that is the tick data that comes through that you're watching on your screen is free when you trade Forex 
so there's some many many benefits of that in many ways but if you're going to consider trading say well look you can use a broker's platform if you're going to trade stocks but you do have limitations on a broker's platform now if you're going to trade futures you definitely need to look at something like um, uh, trade station who I've been with over 20 years you can look at ninja trader 7 but ninja trader 8 that would probably be and and I've got no alliance to any of these by the way platforms so need to trade a rate uh, which I don't use I use trade station is but by far I've got literally two or three must might even be close to 4,000 members we've got the ninja trader platform it's huge so it's very very popular now with ninja trader I think you can buy a lifetime license for under a thousand USD uh, and then the commissions if you use their broking division are a lot cheaper so this is where a lot of brokers are then tied in to charting platforms you've got someone like uh, amps in America uh, where amps I think offer six or seven really solid multi charts um, Sierra charts platform so you do need to put your time into looking at which is the right trading platform because if you're starting out as a day trader there's nothing more painful than having to have to move from that platform as you gain experience okay um, uh, I'm a bit of an old dog there I like to stay, and that's why I'm with trade station I've been with them for so many years I know the platform now the next consideration here is are you going to be what we call scalping or day trading now or you could be of course watching this because you want to swing trade that is you're not you that is you're holding positions overnight so scalping and day trading they can overlap but generally we would have a number of trades and sometimes many trades during the day now we all have different trading personalities so you need to really work out really are you a scalper that is do you get really impatient so you want to keep be kept busy or are you more of a thinker where you want to sit back and take more of your time if you are that sort of person you're going to have a higher time frame okay you don't want to be going you know click 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 trade after trade after trade so you've got to really work out which is the right tra um, uh, um, trading methodology and strategy for you and the right time frame none of this by the way is rocket science this is all straightforward stuff now the next thing which is really important for a new trader and even for an experienced trader if trading is not being kind to you is the type of chart that you use now when you look at it and sorry about this here I'll just that'll be off my chart in a minute there so the chart type we've either got um, what we call time-based charts which is the most common still three minute one minute uh, 15 minute 10 minute chart time frames uh, I'm not a fan of time frame based charts because you have what we call big candles which are easy or big bars but of course there are thousands of traders that like time based charts I love tick combined with Renko but you got what we call tick charts and range charts and Renko which I absolutely love and the reason for the experienced traders in the room I use both tick and Renko Renko is beautiful for smoothing out the price action and removing a lot of noise but at times it can remove too much information and that is why I'll have a relevant time frame set up on my tick charts and then of course we've got volume charts so as you explore what is right for you you need to really put the time into working these things out now indicators trading strategies um, with your scalping day trading trend trading uh, trading with the with um, counter trend this is probably one of the most important and confusing areas for a trader don't be sold on the BS that you've got to spend thousands of dollars on indicators I'm not going to do it in this video we run out of time but I've got literally hundreds and hundreds of indicators that I've either purchased over the years or had coded and uh, in many of my videos some of you may, and if I've got existing members watching this you know I show them in my first training sessions and yes there are some indicators that cost a couple of thousand that I own which are really useful that are great but you know what you don't need them for a brand new trader you want to keep your charts simple minimal okay um, as Richard Branson says any fool can make something look complicated 
so don't be sold on the BS you would have spent a lot of money on indicators some of the best indicators for trading are free they won't cost you a red razoo they come with every trading platform now the reason we call them indicators they indicate what price may do there is no magic indicator virtually every indicator um, is based upon price okay so we need to have price form and then you've got what we call pure price action trading it can be confusing but don't spend a lot of money there now the trading strategies etc traders let me just show you this again let's just go back to this camera for a moment okay so I've been researching trading systems and strategies for many 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 years um, and like for an example the wolf wave now the wolf wave was put together by Bill Wolf many years ago and I purchased this course uh, way back in the day when we used to use faxes okay and it's it's just amazing how accurate the wolf wave actually is now the the point there is traders that there are literally thousands of trading systems and methodologies around the world that are free they won't cost you a cent there's no need to buy anything like the old floor trader strategy yes you might want to invest in some education on how to trade it correctly but you can google it and you can get it for free the slingshot and many others won't cost you anything okay you can get them for free and they work brilliantly they're trend continuation strategies so yes you still need to get perhaps some education on how to trade them correctly but once again you don't have to spend thousands of dollars to buy them and then that really comes down to this very very important thing no matter what the strategy is it should work on all time frames and all markets and it doesn't matter whether you trade gold Forex futures stocks the 34b which is a trend following strategy should work on every time frame in every market okay you go and take a double divergence one of the strongest divergence counter trend strategies you can ever trade kicks butt 80 probably 85 percent of the time you'll have a winner uh, is it's not rocket science the setup itself but what it is is taking the time in mastering the art of trading with the counter trend and by the way if you're a brand new trader or if trading has not been kind to you up to now do not counter trend trade that is you've got to develop the discipline to stay well away from trading counter trend unfortunately so many traders just can't resist the the temptation of picking tops and bottoms okay so very very important now the next thing is we call it um, uh, I call it in my coaching room I get ready get set go okay mastering your trade entries so there are key there are really three key things when you enter a trade so when you're looking at a trade where's my entry where's my exit and where do I put my stop loss so very very important unfortunately with most charting platforms now trading platforms we can have this automated that is yes we might have to click the buy sell button or place our order on the dome however the trade when it, we hit our target will automatically exit and our stop loss can be automatically placed that's incredible technology now on trading platforms but you need to get that right the next thing here is is the hours or the time that you allocate for trading now you know can I say this perhaps oh well look you can't be half pregnant traders in other words you've got to be fully committed this is not a something where you say oh give it a go all right um, you're better off going and doing something else or investing in another business either you're committed to trading or you're not you see so many traders think they're committed but they're not they're really only interested in trading and there's a massive difference you've got to remember that that we're we're trading against some of the world's smartest people we're trading against the algorithms against the algos now fortunately trading is trading the markets and the patterns are, are all the same and it's not rocket science in that sense however you'll get a lot of these smart people you know what what they probably their strongest attributes are they're disciplined they'll stay with the trade they don't break the rules they'll sit back and wait for hours for the trade to set up if you're a scalper you don't have to do it but if they're scalping they've got a set plan in action all right and they follow that plan 
unfortunately most traders they're in and out because they get bored etc or they're not willing to put the time into trading on the simulator or they even break the rules there in other words if you're going to trade okay first thing is we you've got to gain the screen time there's something that you can't buy you can go out there buy my program anyone's program but what they can't give you is screen time that is watching and understanding price action okay it's screen time well oh, let me get this right monopoly money. oh let me could how's that I couldn't get it out I'm getting so excited about this monopoly money there we go it's out by the way traders my videos here always real real and un unedited okay <laughs> monopoly money get that right um, and with that simulator it's so important traders that you trade as if you're trading with real money because this is where you start to hardwire the right or the bad habits in remember disciplines like a muscle the more often you practice it the stronger you become so it's very very important you get this right then finally when you go to live money now when you start your live trading as I mentioned earlier it doesn't matter whether you've got 50 or a hundred thousand dollars you've got to earn the right to build up the number of contracts that you straight trade you start with the simulator then you go to one contract then you go to two then you go to three and you build or if you're trading stocks you might start off with 50 go to 100 you go to 200 but you use the markets money yes it might take you an extra two or three months to get up there where you're earning your ten thousand dollars a week but you're doing it the right way so if you've got a hundred thousand dollars and say you've been laid off in a job or you've got some savings you can draw down go and invest that elsewhere you only need five or six thousand dollars what and you can do with as I've mentioned a whole lot less and you build from there you earn the right yes it might take you longer to get there but traders at least you're going to be in the business long term so traders over the last 27 minutes I've given you a lot of information here but it's very very important traders that you lay the right foundation and just perhaps just one more thing and you'll hear me talk about this time and time again and it's what we call Curly's law now epic success as a trader really comes down to that one thing and you may remember Jack Valance who played the um, the grumpy old cowboy in the movie called Curly uh, in this uh, movie back from 1991 where Curly says do you know what the secret of life is and Curly holds his finger up and he says this and Mitch uh, turns around and says your finger Curly said one thing just that one thing you stick to that and the rest don't mean shit but what is that one thing that's what you've got to find out and what's that one thing in trading there's sort of a lot of areas and in life we've got different areas where we need to focus on that one thing the one thing the one big tip I am going to give you today traders start with trading with the trend one strategy trading with the trend that is how you start by mastering the art of day trading so uh, the next video I'm about to uh, come and record virtually straight away is how to day trade with a small account thank you traders